what's going on guys? It's Lawson with Custom Offsets. We're down here in Daytona Beach at Daytona Truck Meet and we had to meet up with Dude and Maddie to take a look at their Jeep. Last year it won Best in Show so we had to come down and just take a look at this. This thing is beautiful. Oh, it's thank insane. You so much. It's insane. Before we hop into it, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, performance, literally anything for your truck, customoffsets.com. Let's hop into it. Take us through it. This is a 79 Cherokee Chief and then we cut the top off. We made it hard top removable, but during like body work, there were some complications and that no longer works. So we do have a canvas top that like ties on. We got it in about a year, two years ago. We started on it in January of last year. COVID hit, we took like a three month like rest. And then we got it done for Daytona last year, which was in September. We found it up in Ohio by us. We actually took three Jeeps to build this one. Oh my God. Um, the one that we first got was too far gone. And then we bought this one and it was supposed to be like body work all done. And of course, you know, somebody else's body work isn't always up to your standards. So once yeah. we got going on it, we were like, this needs completely redone. So it was a little bit of a bigger project than expected, but we also got a Jeep from out in, I want to say Arizona or out West somewhere. Sure. And we used the floors from it because the floors in this one were rough. So there was a lot of customization going on because we did make it hard top removable. And now we have the soft top for it. That's crazy. So obviously before we hop into it, just so you guys know, like obviously you guys have a crazy shop. I always see, you know, dude going ham, you know, whether he's working on the CAD, welding, whatever he's doing, he's always doing something crazy. Pulling those all nighters yeah, till like yeah, 4 a.m. Yeah, so take us through, before we hop into the rest of the build, take us through kind of what you guys do, the shop, and how crazy the shop is. The shop, I have to give it to Dalton, that's mainly him. I am just like a beginner at this. I'm trying my best to learn on it. It's definitely a passion that he gave to me. He has a passion for lifted vehicles, lifted trucks, doing everything custom. His whole goal is to build stuff that nobody else has. And so that's why we haven't really done like bolt-on kits yet because he just likes stuff being different than every other build. Yeah. Um, he's done, we have a CNC plasma table, so that's how we get a lot of it done. We're about ready to upgrade to a laser table to get more intricate detail like the frame on this was actually cut on a laser table we had to outsource that but he does crazy custom builds he's booked out till next year right now so it's super exciting we're ready oh to expand gosh. that's insane it's the best it's a blast i learned the best on like the design stuff i'm you know not a welder yet if we if i weld it looks like a bird pooped on it or something <laughs> but i can design i can yeah. do the computer like the fun stuff yeah that's super awesome so i mean it makes for a good team and yeah you guys non-stop are putting out crazy stuff so all right, so take us through the suspension and then we'll hop into the wheels and tires. All right, sounds good. It's 79 Cherokee Chief. We did about, it's like an estimate, 14 to 18 inches of lift on it. And everything, as you can see, is full custom. I committed to the tropical theme. We've got the tropical leaves in the cradle, in the frame, everywhere. And the colors were my choice. Dalton was a little bit upset about those colors, <laughs> but in the end, I feel like it's what set us apart. I yeah, love them. Absolutely. And, I mean, I love the size, it's perfect, it's compact, I can park it where I need to, yeah. and I don't feel like unsafe driving it. Right, it definitely fits the uh, the Florida vibes. Oh yeah, and we're in Ohio, so I'm like, I can only drive this a few months, yeah. we need to move down <laughs> south. Yeah. But it's got a 5.3 LS from an 03 Chevy in there, and we're gonna switch it out, I think once we get home, we're gonna do the 4BT Cummins swap, just because he's more of a diesel guy, and the yeah. LS has been giving us some issues, but we'll get them all kinked out. Yeah, absolutely, so why hostile wheels and Fury tires? So Fury, I have wanted to work with them for a while since Dalton started doing builds. I was like, I would really love to reach out with them. Our buddy, Zach Penick, he has said nothing but good things about them. So that's what really pushed me to want to work out with him. And um, I also didn't want boggers on it. I was like, it's a beach build. I don't think the boggers really fit it for what I want. So I knew that I wasn't going to be going with like Interco or something that makes boggers. Sure. And then Hostel, we have been with Hostel since four years ago. Dalton's first build that he did um, for like Daytona and everything was a 69 swept line and Hostel was like hey this is sick can we have it in our booth and ever since then we've made a great connection with them and they are our best partners for wheels. Yeah absolutely so what size wheels and tires are these? Um, so it's 40 inch tires and 26 by 16 wheels. Dang and that's powder coated in like your bronze that you're... Yeah it's a trans it's Zach Pennick with BCC Coatings did it and so it's chrome on the bottom and then they do trans copper two on top to give you like the chrome copper look and then just a matte black on the back. Last year when we were here with Best to Show we took we had um, polished wheels on there and I like these ones so much better. I think they tie the whole build together. Yeah absolutely. So take us through the rest of it. What's What else do you have? I see some uh, speakers in the back. Yeah we've uh, got a 
Mod Podge of speakers because when we started it out, we weren't sure if we wanted to even do like a crazy sound system because the motor's so loud. Yeah. And then once we did one, we're like, well, we might as well go all the way. So we've got the speakers in the back, which I think really tie into the beach build. And we've got ones in the front and on the back walls as well. And then we've got a Holly and a Cam on it. Nothing too crazy, like not twin turboed yet. But if we're switching it out to a 4BT, we don't need that. Yeah. My favorite, if we want to step over here. Yeah. This is a detail that I feel like a lot of people didn't have. And we saw them at SEMA in their custom seat belts. So I was actually able to send them the files that I used on the frame. And they were able to put the same exact leaves in the seat belts and the, their four point harness. So especially with being topless, if it rolls, we're all good to go. Yeah. We're safe, we're secure. Um, and then we also did an iPad dash and I love that. I think it ties it together really good. Sorry, it's a little dirty in here. We weren't prepared for the <laughs> interior stuff. Yeah. We've been at the beach all no, week. No, it's crazy. I mean, in that, the fitment on that iPad dash and just everything else. I know iPad dash is, has become very popular it as, really as of recently, especially in the old school builds. But to see a mixture of old school mixed with new school and to see it all fit so well uh, is just mind blowing. The seats look fantastic. Oh, thank the you. The seat belts, literally. How do you get in this thing? No um, steps? So, no steps. Dalton doesn't, Dalton's not a fan of the like lowered <laughs> steps, even though I was. But I just hold up on here and put my foot up here and pull up. Yeah. I go to the gym, but this is a good shoulder workout yeah. in general. <laughs> and just pull yourself up. I mean, past that, that pretty much wraps it up. This thing is beautiful. Take us through. Awesome. Thank you. Take us through winning best of show last year. What was oh that like? Oh my gosh, winning best of show. I um I actually was working with a coach to like lose weight, and so I was ecstatic just being here. Then I hit my 30 pound down mark, and I was like, this is amazing to hit it yeah. at the beach. Then we got engaged on the beach and I was completely shocked because when I tell you me and Dalton drained our bank accounts for this thing just to make it happen, we were running low. And I was like, there's no way we're gonna propose. We always talked about it being like next, like last year that we were gonna get engaged and then this year we'd get married. Um, and I was so shocked. He did really good at keeping that a secret. And then the next day we come in here and we won Busta Show. Yeah. And we've never like been in it for awards. We never really thought about that. We're here to get our name out there and to show what we love to do. Right. So winning Best of Show is just like an amazing surprise. Yeah, absolutely. That's crazy. Uh, let's wrap it up with your future plans. What do you guys have planned here coming up? Whether it's shop, whether it's shows, uh, any shows you plan on attending, SEMA maybe? We will be at SEMA this year. This year we cut back on shows. Like we said, we're getting married this year. So traveling a lot for that and investing a lot of money in that. But next year, we are planning on starting to have booths at shows, which will be awesome. We love Hostel, we'll stick with Hostel. We'll probably have a booth right next to them at most of the shows. We definitely wanna to go to Atlantic City Truck Meet next year, Music City Showdown, um, Daytona, of course, and hopefully SEMA. I don't, we definitely won't have a booth there, but we would love to go there. And for future builds, Dalton has another swept line at home that we're ready to build. I don't know what he wants to do on it. Mega Truck was passed around, and then I think he boycotted that because can't really drive that anywhere yeah. you want something that you can drive on the road so I don't know we've also tossed around putting this up for sale but if we're doing a booth I don't I would prefer it to be up front so we can draw you guys in and you guys can know exactly who's who and where we're at yeah so this may be up for sale it may not be at the end of the yeah. year keep an eye out if you're interested but if not it'll be in front of our booths it's it's always cool following your social medias and seeing you guys just pulling up to vehicles that are sitting out in the lot that he just has such a vision for you both have visions for to, to you know they turn into these these vehicles that are just growing grass and moss everywhere to you guys trailering them home and seeing if you can if they're worth a damn and if you can make them work we so. love the old stuff dalton loves the patina i love the old stuff i actually like have had offers for like newer vehicle trades for this and i'm like I love it, it's sick, it's gorgeous, but yeah. everybody else could go to the lot and buy that. Nobody can go to the lot and buy this right. and make something like this. So that's why we love it because everybody wants stuff that nobody else has. You yeah. wanna stand yeah. out. Yeah. I've tossed around the idea, if I do sell it, what my next build would be. I really wanna do a Land Rover Defender, one of the old ones. Oh yeah. But those are really rare from what we've seen, so they're a little more pricey. So I've also tossed around like a Toyota Cruiser. So we'll see if I do sell it. Those are my plans for my next build. Perfect. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much for no coming problem. out and filming thank with us. No problem. Thank you so much for yeah. filming. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's what we got for you guys. Uh, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, performance, anything, customoffsets.com. You guys can also check them out on their socials. They're always doing crazy stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one.